I know you're gonna dig this. Hey, wait, I got a complain. Buddy, how are you doing today? Here I am in Hollywood, California, right at the corner of High Tower Drive and Camrose Drive. Been here many, many times before. On my way up, 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 up. And the only way to get there is the stairs or the private elevator. You know where I'm going. You read the title. Kurt Cobain's former home, the abandoned one that I went into about two years ago, and it has been sold since then. So I thought, since I stay right near here, I will walk back up. For you, the fans of Kurt, and take a look at what's going on in the house because everybody keeps asking. Me. And literally, where I stay is right over there, but this walk sucks. My friend John is with me. John, does it, does it suck? Sucks a little bit. Sucks a little bit so far. But we're going to do it. We're going to walk all the way up. We'll see what's going on. I don't know. I have no clue. I've not been up here in. I've been up to this part, right where we are. I looked at the elevator and said, next time. But we're going to do it. Let's go. So if you come up here, there's the elevator, but it's a private elevator. It is locked right now. Sometimes it's open, or sometimes they, uh, someone that lives around here will invite you up to go up, but not happening today, so it's the stairs. And these stairs, I showed the whole walk last time. I'm not going to do that again. They kind of suck. Once you're up there, it's pretty amazing. Get to the next set of stairs, make a right at Broadway Terror, which I believe stands for Terrace, or Broad View, Broad View Terror. And then, up. So there is, we're almost at the top of the elevator. As you can see, it's never as bad a walk as I think it is. It's just a few flights of stairs. But that's where we just were, right down there. You cannot access these houses uh, without walking up to them or taking the elevator. There are no driveways all the way up here. There's a lot around the corner. And those garages down there. There's the elevator, get off there. It's really got a little like... Feel the headrest? A little height sort of like... Nervous, height sensory nervous, deprivation or... Just a little nervousness like going up a tall ladder or something. Well this is it. This is the last flight of stairs. It's actually... Ne I always put it off coming back up because I think, oh god. But it's, it's not too bad. It's way less than that maybe. The four buildings immediately surrounding the elevator were designed and built by architect Carl K. And this was in a famous movie. I'll put the down below. I talked about it last time. But I can't remember right now. But they use this house and you see the elevator. So we're here at Broadview Terror, Altaloma Terror with, with two R's, and you're gonna make a right. And we're gonna get down to Kurt's old place right now. Let's see what's happening. I'm pretty excited actually now to finally see how much progress they've made. It was sold for about a million dollars. And it's just down here. Just past the white fence. You can see it. I'm gonna put a link below to my video I did uh, two years ago now. Wow. I'm assuming it's going to. Okay. So it's double locked. And last time the neighbors just said, "Take a walk inside." Now there's big signs up. Not a chance. Am I going to do that? Yeah. Thanks for everything, Kurt. Thanks for the music, Kurt. Kurt Cobain, Reborn. It's a lot more overgrown. Wow, they've really boarded up everything. You can't even get a look inside these windows now. You used to be able to see inside all of them. Um, kitchen was, let me see. No, there's an opening. 
The fridge was in the back of the house for some reason. The famous was Kurt leaning against a um, bookshelf. He's got Riot Girl written on his stomach, and that bookshelf is right against that wall there when you walk in. And I wonder if that bookshelf is still in there. That's the bathrooms up there. And then, I'm trying to do the. Uh, so, Kurt and Courtney's bedroom, where the famous photographs were taken of Kurt and Courtney, is that room right there. Right up there. Even everything's padlocked very tight. Not a lot of progress. I was really expecting something a lot different. Wow. A lot of people spray paint on the outside, but I was expecting a lot more to be done by now. Like different colors and, and stuff torn down, but somebody's bought it and they're redoing it. I always think how difficult, how hard would it be to renovate a house this far up in the hills where there's no, you can't drive a truck up to it. You have to bring all the materials up and all the remnants down. Squirrel. Easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. Well, come up this way too, yeah, come this way or the other way. This way goes to where uh, another parking lot. We're gonna walk back down that way. But it's just a lot more overgrown. It's been two years since I've been up here. It feels like just yesterday. My friend Pete from the Age Room walked up here the other day and took a look at it, and he just said, "Kind of looks like your video," but I wasn't expecting it to look this much. But the bathroom is right there, right in the middle. And that would have been the nanny's room slash Francis Bean's room above. Now, there was like a mud room kind of, and I'm trying to remember which one it was. You can watch my video. I showed you everything inside. But I'm definitely not going to try to get inside again. Because last time it was just open and people just, we just walked in. You can hear the rehearsals for the Hollywood Bowl right now if you listen closely. So that's how close to Hollywood Bowl, world famous Hollywood Bowl, where so many concerts are, and Kurt and Courtney could hear the concerts from their deck. Let's take a look over top. I showed you before. Yeah, so they put new wood on, keeping people out, which is a good thing because it's somebody's home now. It was abandoned before, but now it belongs to somebody. So if you want to come on and take a look, do what I did, just stand outside, take a look at it, but you cannot go in or past the fence anymore. Wow. Look at that. I miss the comfort in being sad. This is another spot I never get tired of really coming to. I mean, it has been two years, but only just because I've been busy doing so many other things here. But um, this is a place I never get tired of coming to. Even though it's so close, I never, I haven't been back in two years. It's strange, but once I'm here, I'm very, very happy. Kurt and Courtney's old place. All right, so that's it. Um, not much to show. You can see, like I said, it's all boarded up now. Not like it used to be. You want to come take a look take a look I, I i stay so close and i never did two years but it feels like i was just here maybe i walked up last year and didn't film it or maybe i did film it, i forgot to put it up anyway rest in peace kirk Cobain. thanks for watching everybody one million dollars could have been yours now it's sold let's check back in a few months we'll see what's going on okay i will promise to bring you updates as much as i can but right now even the sockets are torn apart something's happening <laughs> We're going to, let's stand right here by this gate and let's talk a second, John, because you're going to have to be in this with me to remember everything we just learned. So my friend John from Toronto. John's been walking around, whoa, walking around. We, we just met Dave. A, gen Dave, a gentleman that lives up here, and he told us some disappointing information, some interesting information. The house is actually going to be torn down. So there's the story. Uh, it's, uh, it hasn't got the, what did he say, it's not on the building it's yet? It's not structurally, uh, yeah, it's not structurally sound. sound. And so there's no notice yet of destruction. What this said, they put a notice up saying it's going to be destroyed. But it's within six months or two years 
if you want to take a look at it, you better get up here soon. Uh, it's not surgery down, and um, it's going to be gone. And what else did he say? He said he met Kurt three times. Three times. He used to cater for them. Yeah. He said they were very quiet. He said Courtney was not quiet. Shocker. But not Kurt, the nicest. Either. Yeah. But tipped well. Tipped very well. Tipped well. He said she was loud. He said she was Kurt, loud. Kurt was super sweet. Very shy. Very shy. Very and he'd been in the house before. There's an apartment below, which I didn't see my last time there. There's an apartment below. And... Apparently there's a hole in the floor, which I didn't notice last time. Maybe I'll look back at my video and see if I can see a hole. But it goes to a apartment below. And because that building has been altered, that's why it cannot be declared a historic uh, monument or historic structure, right? That's what he said. And also, uh, not just because Kurt lived there, but there's a famous Korean actor. One of the first Korean-American actors, Philip something, lived there. Yeah. So he lived there. Right. And Frank Lloyd Wright has a house right, be built a house that's right beside it. That cannot be torn down because it's a store. Right. And then the other side, the lady who did the voice of Snow White used to live there. Penny Marshall has another house up here. I went to the house where she passed away. But long story short, Kurt Cobain's house that we just went to, that I said has sold, and it actually sold for $1.5 million. Uh, what else did he say? $1.5 million. Uh, and it was listed at 998000 But yeah, it's going to be gone. That is sad. So, it's just said, can't live, can't live. There's the answer. But I'll keep coming back up here until they do. And when they tear it down, I'll sit on the property and <laughs> I'll look at the Hollywood Bowl. All right, John, thanks. That was good. That was fun. No, you got to do this. No, yep, nope, you got to. What are you doing? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Kirk Cobain's house. It's going to be gone. Peace. Out. And again, ending the video just to show you, there's we just walked down the other side. Here's the garages and more houses. So here's that parking lot, Hollywood Bowl, right over there. All right, peace out again.